Why was Cain excluded from Adam's genealogy? Deciphering the meaning behind his mark and omission. Welcome to today's video, where we'll be delving into a fascinating biblical topic. Cain's mark and his exclusion from Adam's genealogy. Join us as we explore the profound theological lessons hidden within these stories. Cain's mark, a symbol of God's judgment and mercy. In the aftermath of the tragic tale of Cain and Abel, God's response to Cain's heinous act was unexpected. Let's uncover the layers of meaning behind Cain's mark. The mark placed upon Cain by God, as mentioned in Genesis chapter 4 verse 15, serves as a striking symbol of both God's judgment and mercy. This mark, a sign of separation from his family and community, was a consequence of his actions. Genesis chapter 4 verse 15 states, But the Lord said to him, Not so, if anyone kills Cain, he shall suffer vengeance sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him should attack him. The Mark's Theological Implications The mark of Cain carries profound theological implications. It serves as a powerful reminder that choices have consequences and that accountability is an integral part of our relationship with God. This mark demonstrates the intricate balance between God's justice and mercy. Despite the gravity of Cain's sin, God's act of marking him for protection showcases the compassion present even in times of judgment. Covenant and Obedience To truly understand Cain's mark, we must consider the context of covenant relationships. Covenant creation theology sheds light on the importance of covenant faithfulness and obedience. In covenant creation theology, Cain's actions are seen as a departure from the covenant established between God and humanity. This departure set a precedent that led to his exclusion from Adam's genealogy. Cain's omission from Adam's genealogy. Turning our attention to the genealogy presented in Genesis chapter 5, we notice a significant absence, Cain's name. The omission of his name highlights the selective focus on those who remained aligned with God's intended path. Genesis chapter 5 verse 3 5 confirms this focus, when Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. The days of Adam after he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Full Preterist Perspective on Cain's Mark Let's explore this story from a full preterist perspective. The Mark of Cain can be viewed as a microcosm of the broader biblical narrative, where God's judgment and mercy intertwine. From a full preterist standpoint, the mark becomes a symbol of God's providential care even amid judgment. It can also represent the spiritual transformation that unfolded as part of God's redemptive plan. Covenant Creation Theology, Covenantal Interpretation of Cain's Mark From the lens of covenant creation theology, Cain's mark takes on a covenantal significance. His choice to commit murder severed his connection to the covenant community, leading to his exclusion from Adam's genealogy. This interpretation underscores the importance of covenant faithfulness and adherence to God's principles within the broader narrative of God's unfolding plan. As we conclude this exploration, we're reminded of the timeless lessons found within the story of Cain's Mark. Choices have consequences, accountability is a fundamental aspect of our relationship with God, and the intricate interplay between judgment and mercy continues to shape our understanding of God's redemptive plan. Thank you for joining us on this journey through biblical symbolism and theology. Stay curious and keep seeking the depths of understanding within the pages of the scriptures. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Stay blessed!